Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to quick unbox and also review Yumi Digi S2 Pro smartphone. So let's get to it. So you can see that the box is really nicely designed. It has the name properly written on it. And once we try to open it, so it is upside down and here it is. So once you take it out, we got to open. It has a little magnet to it. And this is how they are packaged it. So once you open it, you're going to find a phone. You're going to take the phone out. Also comes with a little envelope. We will take that out too. And then on this side, you have two little packages. And it has label on it. One says USB cable. And the second one, it just says charger. All right. So let's go first with this package. This package is really small. So once you take it out, it has the wires, two parts. All right, so we can see that it is really nicely clipped together. So this way it doesn't come apart. So this is USB 2.0. Again, it's a fast charger. And this is USB type C. All right, so we're going to put this aside. And also it comes with a little USB type C to go to the phone. This is for your headset jack. So this is 3.5, but again, you're going to use your charging spot to listen to your music. So you cannot swap. All right, so we're going to put this aside. The next part is the charging. Now the charger itself, the one that they sent us, is not for Canada and United States. This is for overseas. It has a nice plastic over it. You can just slide it off. And it does indicate this is for Yumi Digi. Awesome. All right, so we're going to use this so this way we can charge our phone and this way we're not going to damage the phone itself. Again, we do require a adapter. All right, so we will put these aside too. Also comes with a little envelope. Now, once you open the envelope itself, so it comes with a little SIM pin and it also comes with a little user manual. And in the user manual, do indicate this is for Umidg S2 Pro. And it has some information inside that you can use. And let's go to the phone itself. We have already taken the video part and we'll just go on to show you right now that it did came with a screen protector that we taken it off. And also the back part of it, it does have a case. Now this is really cool because usually these things are about 10 to $15 online and you have to order it separately. But they have actually put it together, which makes it a lot easier now to play with. So this part also had a little plastic that we taken off and I'm just showing you right now. But again, you can see that it is really nicely designed and no, the back part does not come off. So you can change the battery to this. It does have two cameras in the back. It does have a really bright flash and this is your fingerprint sensor. And no, you cannot tap it to turn on or off the phone. Usually with something like LG V20, you can do that. But with this, you cannot, since the button for the power is on the side. So we will get into it in a few seconds. But you can see from the bezel part of it, it is really nicely designed going around. And this is the SIM slot. It does take up to two SIMs, or it takes one SIM and also an SD card. And going to the bottom part of it, as you're going to see a little mic and then a little USB Type-C. And then also three little holes. This is your speaker. Again, it's very loud. Going on the other side, you do have the power. And then you have the volume down and volume up, which is in one flash. So you cannot feel any bump to it. Going near to the top it has nothing. And that's how the top part is. All right, so let's go and turn it on. So press this button, hold it for a few seconds, and then it comes on. All right, so for the meantime, while it's loading, you can see that the logo is really nice boot up screen and let's see how long it takes for it to boot up slide to open now don't worry this is not my usual lock so we made it simple so that way we can cover it in the video now we usually don't cover these videos using any kind of mobile but in this case we did since we want to make a little bit different type of video so this is the launcher and yes, we put a little heart in the background. All right, so you can see that it has all the information you require from the top, but here you go. Now you can see that there is a camera right on the top part. And then this one is the speaker part. So that way you can listen to things. 
So you can see that it is very responsive. I have to let you know that the screen resolution on this is 1080p, so it does not go to 4K. But if you want to film something in a back camera, it does go up to 4K. And we will show that also. So going through right now, just you can see that it's very smooth, so it doesn't let you down. We did some benchmarking. We went to Antutu. Under Antutu, we got 61,998 point for this. Again, it's okay for the phone. We also did the Geekbench with this. Under Geekbench, we got 785 for single core and 3,707 for the multi core. Again, this is okay for this phone, so we will get out of this too. So the next thing that we have also done is try to play some gaming on this. So first thing that we did was the BB Racing, and that was really cool. You can see right now that it's running pretty cool. And again, the sensors are on time, and it's not going to let you down on this too. And we also try to, so we run the car racing game with this too, and it looks really good. So the next thing that we tried to do was going into the launcher part. So the launchers are very, when you go to it, it takes a couple of seconds, so it does give you some default launchers that are there. Also, you want to go to wallpaper. You can change the wallpapers that they are giving you, and also under ringtone, so you can select certain ones. So what we have done with this, we went and got the Nova Launcher, which is a really, really good launcher. Now with this, you have this app drawer, and you can see all of the apps there. You can see it's so fast and quick it is to go through it. And now what we try to do was when you press home, but it doesn't. It goes back to the main launcher that is come with this phone as a default. Again, when we go back to it, so that means every time that I want to do something, I have to go back into Nova Launcher manually. So if I have to lock the phone and I want to unlock it, it will go back to this launcher. Again, it's really cool if some people want to use it this way. It's awesome. But for me, I like that customization that the other phones provide. Again, this is a really good phone. Don't get me wrong about that. Now the face facing uh, camera itself works really good, but the back camera part of it is one of them is turned off. And also you can see that it has not been rooted, but it is internationally unlocked. So that way it will work with a lot of providers, especially in Canada and United States. A lot of people wants to use this with AT&T, with T-Mobile and coming into Canada with something like Rogers with Fido. And also they want to use this with public mobile with Bell Mobility or they want to use it with Virgin, this would work really good. Now this is, there is a little bit of a backdrop. This is not compatible to Win Mobile, which changed their name now to Freedom Mobile. So that you cannot do since it's not compatible. Again, the battery on this is really good that I have 88%. Now this has been charged yesterday, but again, I haven't played with it much. Once I put in my SIM card, which I have one from Bell Mobility, working like charm but once i change it to sugar mobile which is a prepaid service i start seeing the battery decrease i believe that's because of the network availability that is not here in brampton so again if you go to toronto it works really good but once you go around then you're going to see the battery drainage since it is trying to find a service for you except that it's really good phone it's not bad everything runs on this really good we're going to go into the camera itself Now the camera is not bad when you see it and there's not much of a delay that you can see right now when we try to see if we get any kind of delay. The part for video is when you change it, this is the part that you can see that it does indicate that this is 4K. So yes, you can capture 4K videos. So you can do a slow-mo capture with this. Also, if you want to put a watermark and also the time lapse and also beauty video. So these are the things that you can do with the video part. But again, you can go to settings and this is where you're going to change your settings in order to do more. And the background apps are really easy to get rid of. So these are the plus signs. Now the beauty cam is also okay. It's not something that I would suggest you take this with you to the weddings and take a picture of yourself or you want to do some selfie. That's not going to do the really good job since every phone nowadays do require for you to have a really good camera, especially in Canada, United States, you want your phone to do everything. Overall, I really like this phone. It's not bad. I would suggest everybody to purchase one. It is inexpensive. A phone that is an octa-core processor with six gigabyte of RAM and also has 128 
gigabyte of internal storage and it's this bright once you go to the top you're coming down you can see everything and once you bring the brightness down you can go it looks really good before they had an issue with that part which was software and they fixed it now so now when you go down you can just bring it up when you go back it looks really bright and yes when you're playing your videos it looks awesome so this is really good and now comparing this with the lg v20 you can see the size is almost the same so it is not that much of a difference in between them so this way you can see that there's not much of a difference this is more brighter than this according to what i see in naked eye again this is perfect if you guys want to get the phone this will do the job for you perfectly you can see right now i'm just going to show it again that playing game with this is really good too and there is not much of a delay when you want to do things you can see how many apps that i have loaded on it there are some bloated wares there too which we cannot disable and i hope the yumi digi is listening to us and going to give us that little bit of a freedom so that way we can change our launcher and on top of that we can disable those apps that do require for it to get disabled and again except that it's really good your voice feature works on it too really awesome and again it does work with bell mobility and also it works with rogers in canada like crazy it's awesome it is 4g network and you're not going to have any kind of problem with it at the meantime i will be placing a link where you can order this from and also any other products from UADG at the bottom of this video except that i hope you guys like our video if you do like it click the click the like button subscribe button on the top comment in the bottom always remember to visit our own website which is xitex.info like us on facebook follow us on twitter instagram and other social networking places and thank you